I'd now like to invite uh, Paul Kearns to the podium. As you've heard from both Bob and me, our partnership with Argonne is absolutely central to everything that we're doing. Thank you very much, uh, Matt. It's great to be here. I've uh, certainly enjoyed the day. I have to say uh, a highlight for me, a recent highlight, uh, was really the conversation at lunch with several uh, postdocs, uh, along with April uh, from your office, Matt, just really kind of uh, sharing a bit about our research activities and what we're up to and uh, some of our uh, passions as well. So it was really great uh, to be able to, to join the conversation and participate in that way. Uh, let me say congratulations to the Pritzker School of Molecular Engineering for reaching your 10th anniversary. Uh, I am Paul Kearns. I have the honor of serving as the director of Argonne National Laboratory. I've also had the privilege, uh, really from day one, of seeing PME grow and become the first school in the nation dedicated to the emerging field of molecular engineering. It seems like yesterday when the University of Chicago and Argonne uh, launched the its predecessor, as Bob described, the Institute of Molecular Engineering in 2011. Over the years, Argonne's relationship with PME has grown substantially and brought meaningful outcomes, I believe, to both institutions. Thanks in large part to the vision, leadership, and support provided by Tom Pritzker, Bob Zimmer, and Matt Terrell. And I must say, many additional leaders uh, at the laboratory and the university have also been key players along the way here. From the beginning, the multidisciplinary thematic approach of PME focused on profoundly affecting the future of engineering and ultimately benefiting humanity and improving our quality of life was a natural uh, for a strong partnership with Argonne. The value of our partnership was quickly recognized as Bob described by the lab sponsors, the Department of Energy, the Office of Science, and with their encouragement, we were underway. Uh, you've already heard much about the impact of the growing and tremendously exciting PME and Argonne collaboration uh, during the course of the last uh, day and a half. I'll add just a few thoughts and, and uh, offer a potential clips of the future during my remaining time. The collaboration uh, started with several joint appointments with Argonne's Materials Science Division. Today, the PME research portfolio and its intersection with Argonne is much more diverse with faculty and students and researchers walking, working across the full spectrum of Argonne's research directorates in many different fields of research. I believe we collectively have enjoyed uh, multiple gains uh, from this collaboration. We, we have uh, new research programs uh, that we can point to in material science, sustainable energy, quantum information science, artificial intelligence, and advanced materials for clean water, just to mention a few. The collaboration has really enhanced faculty and student access to our state-of-the-art uh, user facilities that Bob mentioned in terms of the investment that's been made at the laboratory by the, by the nation, really, and its capabilities. We have some of the world's most powerful tools and instrumentation, instrumentation at the laboratory. And so we're really pleased to see the enhanced ability of the university, uh, again, faculty and student to access that and really drive science in, uh, through that mechanism. Argonne has certainly benefited uh, by exposure to the fresh perspective of PME students and faculty. Uh, their unique insight and assistance uh, was in, has been invaluable, really, to our scientific mission. They directly co uh, contribute to our research and development mission the collaboration keeps us dynamic and innovative, improving our ability to operate as the, at the speed of relevance, as was encouraged this morning. And critically, our joint uh, scientific work is blazing trails in key areas. Uh, I'll mention David Oshalom. And with David, we uh, lead QNEXT, one of the five national quantum information uh, research centers. Uh, QNEXT brings together national laboratories, academia, and the private sector to create innovative ecosystems, an innovative ecosystem that enables uh, the trans translational uh, discovery science, uh, really, uh, in quantum information science into technologies that benefit U.S. prosperity and security. Could also mention Seth Darling, and, and with Seth, we lead a DOE Energy Frontier Research Center focused on materials for energy water systems. The list goes on, and my time is limited, but uh, let me just say, really, together we are accomplishing things that, uh, of which we should be quite proud. Argonne is focused on accelerating uh, science and technology to drive U.S. prosperity and security. Uh, we do that through pivotal discoveries, pioneering leadership, and science at scale. The collaboration uh, with PME is a critical partner in our ability to deliver our mission. I'd also like to acknowledge 
being honest and instead of stepping uh, back a bit, I'd also like to acknowledge that uh, uh, mashing together two cultures, two uh, very different cultures, uh, and also two ways of uh, doing business on a daily basis has been a challenge at time. And so I'll acknowledge that it's taken a great deal of perseverance and a great deal of resourcefulness to really allow uh, the laboratory and PME to work together effectively. And I want to say I very much appreciate the university's willingness to partner with the, la with the laboratory, really, in overcoming uh, hurdles along the way. Uh, I think of uh, really uh, the establishment of IME at Argonne, as we called it under Mass leadership when he was the deputy director for science there. I think of Kay's. Uh, University of Chicago's Consortium for Advanced Science and Engineering, and more recently, the Graduate Research Cooperatives, as great examples, really, of the two institutions working together to accomplish our common objective of delivering impactful science and engineering. In the next decade, I uh, certainly foresee more collaborations, more scientific break breakthroughs that will increase our understanding of the world around us, and more technologies that will improve society. Our work holds promise for protecting our economy from increasingly sophisticated cyber attacks and ushering in a new era of communications. We can help secure access to clean energy and water for all people, and much more. Importantly, I'd like to also add that the collaboration with the PME has laid the foundation for Argonne to return to the University of Chicago campus, as Matt mentioned. Uh, quite exciting, uh, really, uh, it, it's, it's offering both the university and the laboratory, I believe, new opportunities as we consider the future in this regard. We've taken the initial steps to do just that. Uh, this future is ours, collectively, to define. It's incredibly important for us to learn from the experience and the success of PME and to be strategic, innovative, and move with attention to realize this vision. So let me close by saying uh, congratulations again to Matt and to PME on reaching your 10-year anniversary. It's certainly exciting, uh, and it's great to really be a part of what, what you're accomplishing. So thank you very much, Matt.